Hi, I'm Nate, and you're watching Photo Learningism. Want to see how to do a gradient blur effect in Krita like you do in Snapseed and other tools? <laughs> Who wouldn't? Let's check it out. Okay, so once again, this is Photo Learning is on Nate. Thank you so much for joining in. Wanted to get back into Krita because we haven't touched on it in a little while. And hey, I made a discovery which I wanted to share with you. I've been looking for a way to do this, and it, this seems to be a working model of how to do blurred gradients in Krita because I know that can be a very stylistic thing to do with pictures, uh, particularly if you're working with photography. Um, I've touched on how you can use Krita for that, and I just wanted to show you how you could do this. <laughs> I am uh, sharing some of my. Uh, self-deprecating humor uh, so you can enjoy it here this was uh, actually for a thumbnail for another video but let's look at how we can intensify focus and blur on this particular one so these are pretty simple steps and um in a way we're kind of working backwards usually this is an effect that'll be within the tool itself and would give you the option to kind of apply it and give a focal point that's another way i've seen it referred to in other tools is focal point um, we're going to be working in reverse. So the first thing that we do is create a secondary layer. And that's important because we have to blur that. <laughs> so in creative terms, we're going to go to the Gaussian blur, really step that up a lot because we want it to be really out of focus. <laughs> and we're going to again kind of work in reverse of the traditional approach to this. This is going to finish applying the effect. And then from here, what we do is the tool that works really well for this is actually the airbrush and we flip that into eraser mode and i'm going to scale this down just a bit until it fits the surface i want that's good i am going to back off the opacity of that later so i can work a little cleaner with that and then i want to get closer i want my hand in this case to become the thing that pops and is in focus this is almost treating it almost like a macro uh, kind of shot where the depth of field is really intense um, that's kind of what we're, we're driving at here so what i'm going to do is take this and just start working on my fingers here erasing really that blurred layer that's what we're doing here and you can see that start to come into effect and you want to use this you're almost like painting in the spots in this case you're, you're erasing the spots that you want to be intensified um, in focus from the spots that should not be and that'll become clearer as to what i'm actually saying as we get through this i'm going to back off the intensity a bit because other parts of this are not quite as extreme to the point i want to be in focus and again i'm going to back it off some more and at this point i can actually start to bring the overall opacity back up so you can start to see and we're just working off little little bits at this point and then as i pull back now we'll start to get the effect and you can see that it kind of has achieved that effect where i have now just forced my hand into the focal perspective and that was really easy it was one it was a matter of a minute or two <laughs> you saw me work through it this is a really simple concept it does have more steps than the typical filter apply that you have in the tools but this is a way to get it done in Krita, and that's another way you can use this tool in other ways that i honestly don't think the tool was necessarily intended for it can pull in raw images as i've demonstrated in other videos so it has capabilities to work on photography and i keep finding more and more interesting ways to make it more of a photography centric tool if you will um not singular to that purpose there's so many things to do in krita but this is another way to make it valuable and make it powerful as a photo editing tool so I know this is quick and easy. Once and done, this was meant to be simple. I do a lot of talk ups and things on open source technology and also with Critis that I invite you to go check out those videos. But 
I wanted to make this just a simple walkthrough because this is one of those things that's been bugging me. Like, there's got to be a way to get this done in Krita. So thank you for watching this nice and easy, really quick tutorial. Again, check out the other videos if you haven't had a chance to check those out and get a good feel for what Krita can offer you in the open source area. This is running on Linux on Ubuntu, actually, just so you can know uh, which format I'm currently running on. It also does work in Windows, and I believe it also works on Mac as well, um, to my recollection. So there's a wide audience available to this tool. Uh, that I invite you to go check out. And again, the tool is free. It's open source. It's very powerful for multifaceted things. If this was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up to let me know. Also consider subscribe if you haven't done that already and leave a comment, ask a question for the community of learners. Thank you for being a part of this and I will see you at the next video. Thank you so much.